Hey everyone, welcome to the Pit Stop Live. Um, I wanted to, let me focus this here real quick. There we go. I wanted to respond to uh, Pete's uh, latest video that he uh, just recently did, or his latest live stream that he just recently did. Uh, first, I'm glad Pete did not uh, hang it up and decide to call it quits. Uh, he's a very important voice in the community. He has a lot to offer to the community. He is the reason I started. He was actually, he inspired me to start my channel and, you know, think outside the box or uh, not think outside the box, do something outside my comfort zone. Um, I appreciate that Pete apologized to me. I appreciate that he recognized that um, what he says has consequences. He is 10 times bigger than my channel, my little channel. And when you, as he says, when you put somebody on blast, as I was, the repercussions were significant for me. Um, you get a lot of people saying, you know, ignore the trolls, ignore the haters, stuff like that. My darn phone won't constantly. Won't. Ignore the phone, I mean, ignore the haters. But that's a little easier said than done. You have to see it from my end. Over the last several weeks, how many weeks this has happened, the amount of attacks against me, against my wife, against my channel were enormous. You, with what was done to me, uh, you can't just ignore. It's not that easy. Getting crank calls in the middle of the night, getting email spammed, getting text spammed, being accused of horrible things. You can't ignore that. Um, he, uh, I'm still, I'm still, uh, my channel has still not recovered from what had happened. And this whole thing could have been so easily prevented if it would have just been kept private. I wanted it private. I did not want to air the, the you know, and it wasn't a big grievance between Pete and I. It was, it was something silly that we could have worked through, but he didn't. And, you know, and here, are, here's, we're, we're here now. Um, I, uh, as for the note for yesterday, as I mentioned previously, I tried to reach out to Pete texting. I tried to email him. I tried to Facebook him. I've tried to, I'm blocked, I'm blocked, I'm blocked, I'm blocked. It was impossible to get to him. I wanted to get to Pete and tell him, dude, you need to pull that video down. It's fake. I mean, the note is real, but it's not from DoorDash. And... It's a really sticky situation there. You don't want to put yourself in putting that stuff out there. Um, let's see. As for apologizing, I've seen comments. Pete's the bigger man for apologizing. Pete is, you know, Pete did apologize, and I appreciate that. I apologized three weeks ago, or tried to at least. I wanted to move past this. As of 10 minutes ago, People are still not letting this go. Even after the video that Pete's done, people are still not letting this go. And I'm still getting attacked. I'm getting hammered. My wife was getting attacked and horrible things said about her. Um... She, if it was up to her, uh, I would have deleted my channel a long time ago. 
I don't need this channel. I do it because, like I said, I enjoy helping people. Um, I want to move past this, Pete. I know you're watching or you may watch on. I've always considered you a good friend and I was pretty heartbroken when you outed me for this silly disagreement we had. And I don't know why you did it. I don't know. You said you put me on blast. I don't know. It was to show that you're the bigger, you know, obviously you got a much wider footstep or footprint on uh, YouTube. Uh, you know, I want to move past this. I want to move past this. I accept Pete's apology. My wife tried to reach out to Pete three weeks ago to move past this. And she was called out on Facebook and with her name. And she got hammered. Remember, I'm I'm a little guy here, and the amount of obnoxious, mean people, and they're not trolls. That's it's. I I I get trolls. I get internet trolls. I've been in the online industry and for several years. This is much worse than trolls. Um. I'm willing to move past this, Pete. I never had a problem with you. I only had a problem with you outing me. Uh, as you can see here on chat. Yeah, I, I understand that. But that wasn't Pete calling me a predator, Dave. That was someone else. Yeah. Anyway. You know, I want to get past this. I'm done. I'm done rambling, guys. Uh, Pete, hey, I tried to reach out to you. We tried to bury this three weeks ago. Didn't work. Um, we're only human, as you said. Um, thankfully. I hate to say it, thankfully, that troll that you read that letter was on my side because that person was seeing what was happening to me, which was completely and utterly unfair. Obviously, by the amount of people that I have here, <laughs> no one's interested in my, apo my apology or us getting truce or whatever. It is what it is.